Welcome to DerekWeaver.com. In this video, we will cover the ALU function on the Weaver 937 balancer and the W957 balancer. There are several reasons to use the ALU mode of balancing. Uh, one would be that there's no lip to attach a hammer-on weight to. Secondly, you may not want the weights to show on the outer plane of the wheel and you still want to provide a dynamic balance. The two most common methods of doing an ALU balance would be first using two tape on weights, one on the inner plane, one on the outer plane, and secondly using an inner plane tape on weight and an outer plane hammer on weight. The two most common modes of ALU are represented by the ALU2 and the ALU3 mode. We're going to use the ALU3 mode which is a hammer on weight for the outer plane and a stick on weight for the inner plane to balance this wheel. You would enter your parameters as you normally would. And then spin the tire and wheel. First we'll apply the stick on weight to the inner plane. It's an adhesive weight and it's applied directly at 12 o'clock. Next, line up the outer plane. and attach the clip-on weight and then spin the balancer. Now you have a properly balanced assembly using the ALU mode. The ALU functions are identical on the Weaver W937 balancer and they're located here and here. Thank you for using DerekWeaver.com for all your automotive equipment needs.